tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, Wednesday for tonight and our topic as uh, discuss uh, last week will be uh, four groups of unlucky plants to avoid in your uh, office as well as your business premises. You know? Uh, homes, office, factories. You know? uh, so as to uh, avoid bad cheek or misfortune. Okay. So these are four plant groups, and uh, I'll add one special group, you no, know? uh, which is a uh, a category in itself also let's begin with the uh, first group of plants that can wreak havoc to your life uh, well uh, each one has kanya kanya trip so to speak no? and there are many hobbies uh, along this group of plants that uh, uh, we can let them be with their hobby, but the reality is uh, they're living in bad feng shui. Okay, I'm referring to the group of plants called bonsai. Okay, many a Filipino would like to turn Japanese as they really think so. Okay. Uh, who wants to appreciate the uh, aesthetic arts of uh, uh, bonsai hobby but you know a bonsai plant is a bonsai plant and at the end of the day uh, since you will be emotionally attached to your plants whether you're a plantito or not just like your house Show me your plant, and I'll tell you who you are. Okay. Uh, why? Because after three months of caring of a plant that you're taking care of, uh, you're growing, you love as a hobby, it is becoming an expression of yourself. Okay. But this time, physically. The act of pruning and limiting the growth of a bonsai plant, if only to control it, no, uh, also affects your life as the owner. You also control your life to the point that you also prune it and you limit your growth horizons, be it career or otherwise no so bonsai in all its forms be it artificial or the real one uh, in your house in your garden or in your office is actually a uh, bad cheek no it brings shachi or negative chi it limits your growth. So you have to be careful with bonsai uh, plants. Okay. It's okay if uh, uh, there are ways and means to uh, remedy it feng shui wise. But sometimes there are situations that it can come in combination situationally, let's say this time it comes with a combination of a tumbuk situation that serves as a physical constraint or having a creek at the back of the house such that having a basement will be dangerous no? because of drainage problems you know uh, this is far from the bonsai issue but uh, having a basement there are just two rules well ventilation and uh, uh, good drainage but when you come to reality 
BU a resident of Forbes Park or gated villages the bottom line at the end of the day those with basements uh, just one oversight in terms of ventilation and drainage they make a mess out of their lives first health wise second uh, practically the basement space becomes uh, uh, not only a health threat but also naturally a noise pollution threat uh, especially in a Philippine subdivision setting especially if there's a creek at the back no? uh, why because of bullfrogs and garden frogs and all types of frogs okay they get attracted to the humidity they pass through the drains they reside in the basement and especially if the basement starts a little bit flooding during rainy season wow you will not be able to sleep the whole night as your whole basement converts into a veritable arena or araneta coliseum with a rock concert of frogs calling to each other in their mating calls okay that's a practical reality you have to contend with uh, bonsai applies to even uh, small brick of rocks that connote bonsai even uh, wall prints or uh, picture prints or artwork that shows bonsai on your walls okay so you have to be careful uh, oftentimes uh, giveaways of uh, let's say Japanese travel agencies with bonsai collection pictures uh, and the tripod type of calendar on your office desk uh, don't overlook this no popularly in the comfort rooms they have these small bonsai uh, figurines no? so as much as possible uh, if you want to really grow to your full human potential uh, and age gracefully do uh, uh, get rid of these things okay so let's go now to our next group of plants okay uh, I am referring now to creeping plants, no? most popularly uh, vines, no? yung mga gumagapang na halaman. No? Uh, there are a lot of types, especially the water plants, those you put in flower bases, uh, like our lolas or parents they put uh, in a flower base and uh, the leaves of uh, the plant in the vases are like vines they creep down you know? uh, even if they're area plants as long as they creep down the rule with creeping plants is uh, it's okay if you guide them uh, to creep upwards you, know? you put a trellis like structure uh, or balag or a guide and the other popular culprit when it comes to creeping plants is in the fencing you know? even if you live in plush villages forest park uh, new manila you know the popular uh, spanish ivy or Singapore ivy, the one that dips on adobe or uh, hollow block fences, uh, the one that has a romantic appeal like in Europe, uh, just like in Tuscany, they creep up uh, buildings of walls. Uh, but you know, the negative chi or shachi of uh, having uh, creeping plants is that the moment they touch the ground level 
from an elevated uh, space. Let's say it's in a pot, then it touches the ground or it's planted by the wall and due to poor maintenance, parts of the plants start creeping on the ground, it attracts uh, depression. In Tagalog, in Filipino language, gapang din ang buhay. No? Your life starts to creep Remember, through. The remedy for creeping plant is just to trim them. No? Never let them touch the ground as much as possible. From uh, the vase, or from the pots, or limit their growth. No, no different from your uh, uh, high school and uh, uh, college ROT3 experience for guys and I don't know the rules for the girls no? but uh, it's like your haircut no? uh, it should be trimmed always uh, above the ears or above the collar no? don't let it droop okay so uh, uh, that's the second group of uh, plants to avoid Let's go to the third group, which are the thorny plants. Now, why are thorny plants bad? Thorns are like spikes, and they point to the aura of the human being, admiring them. No? So even if you admire a beautiful rose, a full American red rose full stem but it, its stem has big thorns instead of uh, creating a positive effect it will puncture your aura okay and tendency is any thorny plant invites envy and intrigue okay which is not uncommon even on Valentine's Day, in office settings or among friends, somebody, a sweeter, let's say, gives your friend uh, uh, an American rose, long stem, somebody right away gets envy or jealous. Uh, that's how simple it can get. Okay? So, uh, be careful with this category of uh, thorny plants. And what a shame, uh, uh, even artificial or even in paintings, drawings, calendars, or pictures. Okay, Don't have it in your environment, at home and at work. Thorny okay. plants always attract envy and intrigue. And most often than not, the worst combination is creepy and thorny plants. There are thorny plants that also creep. So the most popular in gardens, especially here in the Philippines, bugambilia. Uh, so many have lined bugambilias in their fences, well, for natural defense against burglars. Others for the beauty it evokes because of the various colors of uh, bougainvillea during a flowering season, summertime, uh, in all its shades, uh, very romantic looking. You know? uh, however, it does attract a lot of envy, intrigue, and gossip. Okay, so. Thorny plants also uh, attract what we call backstabbing. You know? Depending on the location, if the bougainvillea or the cactus is at the back of your house or back fence, yung bougainvillea, you have backstabbing. If it's in front, front stabbing, the side, side stabbing. Okay? So you will feel like uh, Julius Caesar being assassinated by your own friends or even relatives no? or even siblings because of envy and intrigue. Uh, that's how bad 
the chi or the shachi created by thorny plants can go as far in one's life you know now once it starts creeping on the ground then that's where depression sets in and you get sad about your uh, life okay so be careful more often than not uh, a sad experience with bougainvilleas is uh, just like a mexican uh, uh, house uh, they let the bougainvillea grow on top of the roof all over so it's like a colorful uh, hot but the net effect normally is it affects all the singles in the house because of the envy and intrigue it attracts it's hard for single people in that house to get married okay uh, I, I experienced one case only when we remove the bougainvillea covering that covered their house for almost 30 years uh, was she able to get married and live happily ever after okay uh, the last most popular uh, uh, no no in your garden is the kalachuchi a plant popular in singapore malaysia hong kong in asia no but it's very popular too in all graveyards from hong kong happy valley to chinese cemeteries uh, and the flower itself kalachuchi flower well it looks hawaiian the scent is uh, often used not just for lace but lace for the dead no? corona ng patay no? uh, wreath funeral wreaths no? so very uh, uh, bad connotation okay so remember these categories of uh, plants you have to be careful of now uh, i mentioned a special group of plants uh, we take up later um, when we come back we'll have an open uh, forum for your questions in the meantime the space let's uh, pause for another break we'll be back shortly this is Philippine Business Funk Soar only here on B Media Get into the treasure trove of undiscovered music through Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music program. Whether it's rock, metal, reggae, soul, or pop, we have it covered. Napalm features upcoming Pinoy artists and musicians, hosted by your alternative revivalist, Charlie Diaz, and resident rockista, Parts Moro. So sit back and relax. Enjoy Napalm, only here on V81 Radio, Manila, where alternative lives. Welcome to Pride and Proud Asia, Asia's first online radio show that champions LGBT contribution and leadership in business and in our country and the region. Hosted by the Philippine LGBT Chamber of Commerce, visibility, representation, and empowerment. This is Pride and Proud Asia, Saturdays, 8 p.m. Philippine time, only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Happy Pride! An online program that takes you to all corners of beauty and lifestyle. This is Beauty in a Box. Providing insights on how beauty and lifestyle of all kinds will be of help to everyone. May it be in their professional or personal lives by improving one's confidence. Beauty in a Box. Every Saturday, 1 p.m. Philippine time. Hosted by certified makeup artist and beauty enthusiast, Aliyah Ambre. Beauty in a Box. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Thank you. 
the program for the millennials that will showcase young professionals' worth as permissions and successes in doing what they believe is right, progressive, and inclusive. Making a difference. Making a difference. Join them as they discover the path to self and societal fulfillment while making a difference. Hosted by empowered and cool millennial Erica Mizon. Together with her cool millennials, they will be making a difference. Every Saturday, 3 p.m. Philippine time. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Buckle up and get ready, set, and go. We're bringing you the action on air here on Sports Watch. Join Sports Girl anchor Nicole Ganglani as she dives deep into the lives of the athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from sports industry. Sports Watch every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. Philippine time. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Now back to Philippine Business for Soy, only here on Big Media. Okay, so uh, with that four group of uh, categories, let's now add a special group of uh, plans. Uh, not necessarily bad, it's just the layout or positioning in your house or office that's critical when it comes to this group of plants and I'm referring to flowering plants okay uh, perhaps it's only now that you will discover that it is bad if you notice any Chinese house the front of the house especially left and right of the main door and the gate normally do not have any flowering plants and just to be safe, they don't put any plant for that matter. It's all concrete, uh, paper, sidewalk. Okay. This is simply because uh, uh, of the negative uh, feng shui or bad feng shui. That if you have flowering plants in front of your main door, uh, be it in the office or uh, at home, uh, each time the plant flowers, a uh, plant flowers, uh, the husband of uh, uh, the family uh, will have roving eyes. And so let's say in Chinese, they're very naughty and literal. Uh, the husband starts to look for another flower. Okay? So. He will act like a bee, leading from flower to flower. But in fairness, uh, in this age of women's live and women's rights, uh, women of the house uh, also tend to clear away uh, during this season of flowering plants in front of the house. So a typical uh, Chinese home, even in Hong Kong or uh, Beijing in their hotungs or compounds, all concrete in front, okay? They avoid uh, any flowering plant in front, be it orchids, be it a flowering tree. The most popular they avoid is the santan. You know, the one with the nectar that we like to sip on. Uh, any any flowering plant. Now, commonly uh, overlooked flowering plants in front of the house that you have to be aware of, even in your uh, offices, is what you call uh, ground cover shrubs. You know? uh, I'm referring to the peanut. You know? It's like a peanut plant. Uh, uh, all green, then suddenly they flower yellow uh, flowers. No? And I mentioned already Santan, others are uh, uh, street side uh, uh, flowers like Lantana. Well, others do have rose collections. Uh, so you have to be careful. Orchids. 
So you just put your uh, floral uh, uh, plant group collections behind the house, on the sides, but never in front. Especially also in office settings. Now five groups of what to uh, avoid when it comes to uh, unlucky plants. Certain experiences as to other bad plants, uh, exotic as they may be, to avoid uh, because of their uh, very bad uh, uh, feng shui. Uh, one plant to avoid, uh, although it's rare to have one, is what we call the black bamboo. Uh, it's like a Chinese bamboo, uh, or a typical bamboo, but the stems are color black. You know? uh, very bad. More often than not, uh, uh, clients who collected this uh, end up having a, a cancer. You know? They get sick of cancer, either cancer of the breast, you know, and mostly the women. You know? so, uh, beware. You know? And of course, not all bamboos are good. Uh, beware of the spiky and thorny bamboos for reason of uh, envy and intrigue also okay now uh, any other uh, uh, plants that uh, uh, can give you the spook will be let's say some take care of essential oil plants like ilang ilang okay the smell of ilang ilang would be like a funeral parlor too, no? or like perfume of the dead. No? So when it's in season, it has an eerie, haunted uh, smell around your house. Okay, so be careful with this stuff. Miss Ong, uh, good evening, Master Aldrich. Uh, paano? o pag nasa tabi ng bakod sa unahan ng may flowering tree every summer or the ano you have a problem Houston okay so pansinin mo lang kung every summer nagpa-flower yung kung malapit yung sa bakod kung masaya si Mister no? Okay. At tingnan mo na rin kung masaya si Yaya. Okay. At uh, baka naman kayo ni Manong driver ang masaya. So, you have to be uh, uh, very discerning about this uh, flowering plant by your bakon. Okay. Um, as long as it's in the front of your house okay uh, be careful so uh, any other questions this is by Tina Casino oh, from New Jersey hi master uh, so all creepy plants are bad feng shui in general uh, uh, in general the rule is as long as you don't let them creep or touch the ground okay uh, it will not be uh, depressing or gapang ang buhay you can still control it okay that's the remedy uh, but if you let it flow as it is keep on the ground then you will feel also uh, and the effect on your life gapang din ang buhay this not flores liwanag uh, 
Billionaires Blind? Oh, question. Oh, Billionaires Blind or not? That's beyond our topic. Our topic now is malas na plants. Millionaire's mind is suerte na plant. So you're out of order. Uh, not okay. Stand corrected. Uh, next uh, question, please. Charisse Isidro. Snake plant, pero tip niya nakatusok talaga. Kailangan ko ba iliwan? Meron ako snake plant. Ah, oh, meron ka snake plant. Tip niya nakatusok sa labas. Bakit mo ililipat? Namumulaklak ba yung uh, flowering plant ba yung snake plant sa harap ng bahay niyo? Uh, I know snake plants flowers but uh, once in a blue moon. No? Uh, nothing wrong with snake plant. So hindi kailangan po ilipat. Kung matusok yung talagang matalim yung dulo ng snake plant na parang spike which is rare no i don't see any treatment like that pwede niyo lagyan ng shell ng itlog that's the only wow. remedy yes 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 uh, uh, as long as it's in your uh, premises it's bad no okay uh, maganda nga yung grotto mo eh wish mentario naman di ba So, <laughs> depende kung uh, nagpa-practice na kayo. Okay. So, better to remove. Alright. Pero yan din, no? When you remove plants by ritual, there is one simple advice. Just like our folklore, magtabi-tabi po kayo, excuse me, or offering. Okay? Master, last na tanong. Uh, hehe. <laughs> sa ako po ilipat ang mga cactus at gumagapang na plant thanks patay okay uh, yung cactus for as long as may mga tulis-tulis may tunok ba yung sibuano eh haboy mo na okay Uh, or i-donate mo, sa, i-donate mo sa isang chapel or church ground. Okay? Uh, huwag kang manghinayang. Okay? Same din sa mga gumagapang na alaman. I-donate mo sa gardener ng uh, simbahan. Okay? Kaya marami yan sa simbahan. No? Lahat ng may mga tinig. And doon. Okay? Huwag manghinayang. Huwag mo ibenta kasi karma rin. Balik din sa yan. Kawawa naman yung pagbebentahan mo. Huwag mo rin pamigay. Karma din. Okay? So be good. Uh, when you wake up tomorrow, you wear your face shield, face mask. You bring that to uh, church grounds and donate. Okay? Don't set up a community pantry cactus uh, or uh, uh, creeping plants. Very bad. Okay? Baka ma... Ano ka pa? Uh, you become an angel. Okay? So, next question. IP Joseph. Master, uh, in the... Rin po ba advisable na magkaroon ng hanging plants pababa po? Okay lang kung nakahang siya pababa, huwag lang sa science sa lupa. For uh, uh, plant collectors, uh, if you want uh, to improve your garden and as much as possible make it a lucky garden, Uh, do uh, tune in regularly we'll fill up your uh, uh, collection uh, uh, list as we go along in the meantime uh, to start it rolling uh, if you want uh, uh, 
uh, more joy in your life you can start collecting the various colors of Vietnam rose I don't know what well, you know what Vietnam rose uh, looks like just google it but it's a very popular plant especially in uh, elementary schools when you were young no? it's used normally for school gardens it's ground cover because of their colorful colors okay so that's one uh, initial tip uh, next week we'll have a surprise topic no? in relation to uh, uh, business okay so uh, as we end our time for tonight happy mother's day again to all mothers uh, listening now and uh, see you next week and remember stay kaunlad ng bayan kung soy po Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.